It's another amazing day here in downtown Dubai. Welcome Anna Spurton and Danosh Zahidi started their crypto podcast show in 2021. So tell us a little bit about the DAO that you guys have put in place. This term DAO stands for a decentralized autonomous organization. It's been a hot topic lately, garnering attention on this podcast and around the world. They're described as a group of people who come together, usually online, with a common goal and no centralized leader. Think about DAOs as a new way to organize a company. You know, traditional companies have uh, shareholders, management, and then employees. The idea behind a DAO is instead to empower all members of that organization to have a say. The two podcasters love the concept so much that they went from talking about DAOs to starting their own. We believe in the hive mind. We believe that the community, they have the best interest of the organization in mind. People are seeing the value that DAOs bring to the table. They say they've raised over one and a half million dollars this year when they launched their company Arts DAO, an organization that curates NFT art. Individuals hold a stake in their organization by owning a virtual token, and these tokens offer voting rights on company decisions. As an alternative to traditional companies, experts say DAOs offer more transparency, participation, and trust among investors. The business rules are clear. Once uh, smart contracts are published on the blockchain, they are irreversible, nobody can change them. And this basically gives a high level of trust to stakeholders to basically uh, work with the concept and do business with the concept. Anas and Dinosh are not alone. DAOs are popping up around the world. Some are charities fighting against climate change, while others are opening up fast food franchises. One even pulled together $40 million to bid on a copy of the US Constitution. Experts are seeing a growing interest in DAOs recently, but caution that the concept still needs time to mature. I think the jury is uh, still out. So for now, it's niche applications. There are very clear use cases in uh, crowdfunding, in asset management that uh, DAOs lend themselves particularly well to. It's still early days for this new corporate structure, but Anas and Anosh are not waiting around. The two believe DAOs will revolutionize the business landscape, and that's why they're building now and spreading the word. Anna Stewart, CNN.